So I'm gonna try it or I'm breaking it. We're gonna find out. I'm back and today we're gonna to be checking out some stuff that was sent to me for free by Bloom, which technically we've looked at before. <laughs> but this is gonna be a different video. Although we are gonna be checking out the Bloom Baby Pops again, we are also gonna be looking at the Bloom Series 2 Fun in the Sun dolls and then doing a fun little craft and a little bit of planting, which I'm super excited about. I'm even wearing my Save the Bees shirt to uh, get in the spirit of saving some bees and doing some spring stuff. Okay, okay. This is the Series 2 Fun in the Sun Bloom Flower Pop. Girls, and the cool thing about this one is it claims that it's going to change color in sunlight. Next up is a Bloom Baby Pop package, and this is going to be the exact same as we had last time with three guaranteed babies and the possibility of more, plus some accessories. Right off the bat, though, I'm going to tell you that this one is different because this time it's wrapped in plastic, and both of these are covered in soil. It's getting me all dirty. Ooh, and this is the culprit. They sent me some soil, and while I appreciate that, and I'm not typically a fan of of wasting unnecessary bags. I'm not so sure it worked very well in this mesh bag because <coughs> it's all coming out. Now there's dust flying everywhere. But I am still really excited to get planting, so don't take that the wrong way. Just like last time, I received a bingo card and I was also sent two little packages with some art supplies. Looks like we have some gem stickers, ribbon or washi tape. There's some puffy paint in there, glitter glue. And this one has puffy paint, glue, glitter glue, some other kind of paint stick, some gem stickers, and a lot of loose glitter. Here are the stickers for my bingo game, covered in a heck of a lot of dirt. I'm gonna have to do some serious cleaning. It's like staticky dirt. I guess technically if the dirt is dry, it could be staticky. It's very clingy. I also got this little crab costume for one of the baby pop dolls and a little satchel of paper flowers. And if you haven't seen these before, they're actually really, really cool. It's recycled paper that has been mixed with seeds and pressed or cut into little shapes. And then once you use them, the paper waste just disappears into the soil and you've got some really cute flowers. It's a really nice way to gift flowers and make a craft at the same time, honestly. <laughs> And the last two items I was sent was a roll of toilet paper and some hand sanitizer. Once again, covered in soil. Bloom, it kills 99.99% .99 of germs. So I'm gonna quickly try to remove some of this dirt and then we'll go down to the table, pop some babies, bloom some color changing dolls that won't work because we're not in the sunlight and then start planting. Here is our flower pot, baby pops, and here is all the art stuff and seeds. We're not gonna need this right now because of course we do need to bloom our doll and pop our babies. Otherwise we'll have nowhere to plant. So let's just start with that. Now because today is mostly about reusing these toys to make them into planters, I'm not going to go into as much detail as I typically would. So I will leave links in the description for you to check out my other videos in case you want to know more about the actual product. Except keep in mind that this is going to be series two and technically is supposed to color change in sunlight. Let's find our tear strip. Of course it doesn't work for me. Here is my flower pot. It's a pearly purple. It says bloom. There's a cute little bee there and it's got plants all over the bottom. If we take off the sun, we drop the things. We'll find our checklist and a pink squishy watering can. Quickly take a look at the checklist. Oh my gosh. All right, my plan was not to focus too much on the dolls because this is mostly about planting, but I definitely, definitely need clover. If anyone is watching and wants to trade for whomever I get inside my bloom package, you know where to find me. All right, now we're gonna peel off this orange foil and apparently it pulls out something that I don't recall ever happening before. And we have some stickers. Guys, it's clover. And now we have access to the top of our flower pot. In order to bloom our doll, we're gonna need to put some water on it. And for that, you will use this watering can. So now we're gonna squeeze it on top and watch the doll bloom. That's a really pretty blue, but it doesn't look like yellow, which means it's not clover. I do like that it comes out so fast. It doesn't take very much before they bloom. Wow, this is way, way softer than last time. It's like slow rise. So far, I like this better than series one. Oh, they changed it. Can we redo the feature? Bloom, I'm pretty happy right now. Hold on. So I'm gonna try it or I'm breaking it. We're gonna find out. Oh, it's just a simple piece of paper. Hold on. This makes me really happy. I'm super excited right now. Be right back or be right back to fail. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. All right, so I put a piece of paper down and hypothetically this should work if I do it right. Okay, that worked out. So close that back up and I believe that would go there. Yes, it is officially reloaded. I'm hoping my paper is not too thick because we are gonna go again. 
this is probably going to take longer than their paper because mine is regular printer paper, but this should eventually work. Let's give it a bit more. Oh, there it goes. It's coming out, it's coming out. Guys, it's reusable. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Now, this is most likely not because I ever suggested it, but I'm gonna take credit for it because I said it. Now let's go back and pretend that I am doing what I was supposed to be doing. If you're counting, so far I'm super happy that the hair has been changed. Happy that this is reusable. And now I'm gonna move on to what else is making me happy. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you I am thrilled about the pot. This thing seems like it's in the way, but realistically they found a way to make it part of the scene because not only is it a chair, but technically it's a ride. And I'm not gonna fault something that's helping this to be reusable because that was the main feature of the toy and now it's not just a gimmick. I'm also really excited to see that our surprises are hidden within things that are decorating the actual pot and that they're not paper or stickers because those are kind of like a one-time use deal and they left residue on all the little surfaces. And now I need to take my doll out of her chair. All right, they really, really secured her in. That's a lot of elastic. Her chair is removable and she is very secure a lot of seat belts there. I'm just gonna take it off. Dang it, she just doesn't wanna get out. All right, here is our doll. Quick rundown, she has very light purple hair, and if I turn it different ways, I can kinda see either a brighter purple or a bit of a pink. So I'm thinking that if I had real sunlight here, that might be the color change. While the top section is really soft and squishy, the bottom is more of a rubber. And we can pop it off so that we'll be able to swap it with other dolls. Underneath all that hair, we have a light complexioned doll with green eyes and green leaves as makeup above her eyes, which are heavily mascaraed, my goodness, as well as some blue hair in a bun. And she comes wearing purple underclothes. Can she stand or is her hair too heavy? Well, that answers that. We're gonna quickly check out the flower pot before I dismantle it. On the left side, we have a bright green leaf as well as two flowers, one pink and one purple. And on the right, we have a blue wardrobe. And on the inside walls of the flower pot, we've got some vines. Behind this green leaf, we have a little pink purse with a bow on the front. And I guess this has now become our table or bed. I'm not exactly sure. Ugh. They are stuck on real good. Oh gosh. Behind the pink flower, we've got a little white rain cloud and it's hard to see the face, but there is one and it's really cute and peaceful. Oh, got it. Inside the purple flower, we have pink shoes. There are two little dots underneath this leaf and it looks like we might be able to use this as the stand. Yep, that's it right there. I'm a genius. No, 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 don't fall. I said I'm a genius. Inside the wardrobe, we have an outfit and this is a teal and light purple outfit that's meant to look like either fur or feathers with a skirt and a crop top underneath. I am going to mention that this is a much thicker plasticky rubber than before and I'm really happy about this because it means it's not gonna fall apart like the last one that I had. Honestly, it looks like every single thing that I had a problem with before has now been changed. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm supposed to have royalties. <laughs> I'm just joking. I feel like I need to be credited for my service. Send me the B. Now I'm supposed to decorate this and fill it with soil and use it as a planter because I mean, that's why they sent it. But since it's so much cuter now and actually more of a practical playset item, I just can't bring myself to fill it with dirt. So I've decided I'm not going to. <laughs> Instead, I will do that just to the Baby Pop Planter. As I mentioned earlier, this is not gonna be an in-depth review, so if you wanna check out what these are like because you haven't seen them before, I'll make sure to link to my other video where I actually give you an in-depth review. Off with the lid, which doubles as a water bath or a pool, and let's start popping. One, ah, ah, ah. Two, three, four, five. And here is my planter. So here's all my little pods. And let's see what's in the first one. Ooh, we've got our first baby. It has a dark complexion and comes wrapped in a blue swaddle with a red rose on top of its head. And if we take that off, it has bright green hair and a winking face. And I won't be sticking the tops back on these pods because I'm gonna put the soil in here instead of in there. That way, if we ever wanna use these as toys again, it will be a lot easier to take these out, clean them, and then be able to reuse them. See, I'm smart. Next pod, which has our accessories. Looks like we've got some purple soap or lotion, a light blue watermelon piece on a stick, and then an orange sunflower. Third pod, and we have our second baby. Once again, it's got a dark complexion and came wrapped in a blue swaddle, this time with a purple plant on its head. It also has blue hair, crossed arms, and a winking face just like the first. We'll put our little pod back in and move on to our next baby. It comes in a pink swaddle and has a green kelp or some kind of underwater plant in its hair. This baby has a tan skin complexion with bright pink hair and it's making a poopy face. So 
there's a deuce in that diaper. <laughs> time for the last pod, which is also a baby. This time we have a bright purple swaddle. We've got another tan complexion, but this time a purplish pink hair color and a bright neon pink cactus on its head with an orange flower on top. Before we fill our little pods up with soil, we'll quickly check to see what accessories and such we got. See if it's different from the last one that I opened. And it is. For reference, if I was to check out the water testing, we would pull these pieces out so we could attach it to the side of our lid, creating a slide and a pool. But we're not doing that. Instead, we're gonna check out the play scene. It comes with some stickers, a little bed, a little bath, and a present box, as well as a background. Looks like we got the Woodland Nursery. And if we lift these up, we will have accessories. So underneath our purple bed is our costume. Oh, I was so excited. I saw yellow. I thought it was gonna be the bee. It's a little lion. Still cute, but not a bee. These work in the exact same way as the swaddles. You just put your baby in it. And since they did send me a separate one, I will try this on as well. All right, now we have two babies that are still not bees, but they're okay. <laughs> Let's just take out our little present box and our bathtub so we can find their little pals. And now you can see what your play scene would look like. There's a little carpet down there. Set that back up, there you go. We got a little purple giraffe, a little blue turtle, and a baby blue porcupine. So cute. Now we need to see what kind of baby shower gift we got. And the answer is a car seat, which I did already get the last time. So this isn't new for me. I was hoping to check out a stroller or something, but oh well. And just like that, we've got a car seat for our babies. This reminds me of Thumbelina for some reason. Here are those paper seeds that I was telling you about. They're super cute. Hold on, let me just get them out of here. Here you go. It says plant these paper flowers and watch them bloom into wildflowers. We'll need to soak these in water overnight and then plant them under a thin layer of loose well-drained soil and then we'll give them a little bit of water and watch them grow. About two weeks from now we should have some little flowers. So that's what I'll do and while those sit overnight I will have this decorated and ready to go. But I don't really feel like touching a bunch of glitter and stuff right now so I'm just gonna be boring and decorate with stickers. But I mean can they really be boring when they have bees? The answer is no, it's gonna be great. Let's add a little sunshine, cause we're stuck indoors, a little ladybug, and a few random flowers. There you go. I'm not gonna decorate it too much. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and add some soil so that we can be ready for tomorrow. There's my bag of soil, and I'm using the slide to put soil in my pods. I know, so smart, right? My little pods are filled with the dirt and now I'm just gonna add a bit of water so that when we add the paper flowers tomorrow, our soil is ready to go. Perfect. And before I stop for the day, I will wet the paper flowers and let them sit overnight. Hey guys, I'm back. It's day two and I am ready to plant. My soil looks the exact same as it did yesterday, except somehow a little darker. As for my seeds and such, they look the exact same as yesterday, just a bit more soaking. And they're starting to absorb the color of the paper flowers that are beneath or above them. Using my slide once again as a little trowel because I'm a genius. Now I'm just going to take my wet flowers and put them in the soil, but not too far down. The instructions said to make it shallow. So I am. My paper flowers are in and I did add a bit more soil on top and I also added a bit of fresh water. So now I'm gonna leave these in the window for a few weeks and show you what they look like once they start sprouting. Usually my house is where plants come to die, but I'm hoping for the best this year. Hi guys, I'm back. It's been a week and a half and this is my planter. Looks pretty good as you can see. There's a little bit of life forming down here and I haven't killed it yet, so that's a win. The plan was to show you guys some progress of sprouts to flowers, but realistically it's taken taking quite a bit of time because I can't control nature and I don't want this video to go on forever. So if you're interested to see if these flowers end up blooming and what they look like, make sure to check on my Instagram in a week or so, maybe five. Mother nature is slow, I don't really know. But before we go, I'm just gonna share this super cute card that one of you guys sent me. It literally made my entire day. Check out the little bee butt, oh! And if you think this is cute, just wait till you see the inside. Check it out! How cute is that? How cute is that? There's even a little pocket on the side with a letter, but that's for me. I just couldn't not share the card with you guys because it made me smile and it fit the planting theme so perfectly. Now let's go back in time to the outro. All right, we are back. Uh, we as in me, <laughs> nothing's really changed here. I'm still alone, that's okay. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna film the outro now so that we have one and I am wearing the same stuff as I was wearing at the beginning of the video because that would make sense, but I don't know, what am I doing? Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
<laughs> Hopefully this video inspired you to either A, if you have any of these objects, do some planting of your own in them, or B, just do some planting of your own in anything, because clearly there's a lot of items that can be repurposed for something fun. And you don't necessarily have to plant either. You could easily just turn things into objects that are useful around your home, like pencil holders or bird feeders or literally anything. I don't know. I have a lot of time on my hands and I make way too many things. We'd be here all day if I keep giving you suggestions. Point is, if you know somebody who would enjoy this video, then please share it with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below what you liked or didn't like about today's video and what kind of activities you are doing at home with your families to stay sane. <laughs> As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And if you were wondering how bingo went for me, the answer is I lost.